all right all right let's do this uh how's everybody doing hope you're having a good day uh uh just wanted to talk about something that um that uh is going to help a lot of us out there um and it has to do with have you ever feel trapped if you ever felt trapped before uh and if you're joining uh just tap the screen send me a heart uh, send some hearts for this periscope. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you share this uh, with those who you know that's feeling trapped. Um, but that's the question. You ever felt trapped before? Um, I know a lot of people you felt trapped and you can feel trapped financially. You can feel trapped spiritually. You can feel trapped emotionally. But everybody has come to their point in their lives where they felt trapped. Now let me tell you about myself. You know, um, I've I've been I've had a lot of walks in life. I mean, concerning ministry, concerning business, concerning finances, and all these different things. And I've seen success in in, in many of those different arenas. I myself am also married to uh, my boo Nobilis. <laughs> That's what I call her. <laughs> you know, my boo <laughs> or my my lady, my wife. That's what's her name. All right, <laughs> but uh, you know, but. You know, you probably may have felt like that. A lot of people felt trapped concerning their marriages, concerning their relationships, concerning all these other areas. And the reason I call it a spider's web is because that's what it feels like. If you look at the spider and what it does when it catches a fly, what it does is it doesn't kill it. It, 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 it wraps it around its web and causes it to feel confined and then it slowly begins to eat away at its life. Now, um, and that's what probably some of you experienced out there, or you probably know somebody who was stuck in a relationship that's like a spider's web. Now, meaning that they, they used to be, that girl or that man, he used to be, or she used to be somebody who had a lot of dreams for themselves. But as soon as they got in that relationship, that relationship began to suck the life out of them. Now. They come around, for example, and they don't, they don't have like that vibrancy no more. Or that person calls them and their emotions get taken away when that person calls them. You know, their emotions, for example, may, they may go into a place of fear. Or they may go into a place of, um, of just, you know, oh my God, I got to call them now. Or they're going to get mad at me or whatnot. That is not a good place to be. And that is actually a dangerous place. And I know people out there... Or you've probably seen people where one relationship cost them their lives. One relationship. You know, they didn't die from a gunshot wound. You know, they didn't die from, um, from you know, committing suicide or jumping off a bridge or something. They died because they got into a relationship that started out good, but they end up losing their lives in the process. You know, nowadays, I, you know, I tell people because I used to teach a program where I used to teach people about um, relationships and things like that. And I still do it today. But I used to tell people that could your relationship be the death of you? You know, that's could your relationship be the death of you emotionally? Could your relationship be the death, the death, D-E-A-T-H of you spiritually? Could your relationship be the death of you physically and that's a question you know everybody got to ask because nobody think isn't it interesting when you watch the news nobody think it would happen to them nobody you know ain't that crazy nobody think that 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 would happen to them where I, if i get in this relationship I, I may end up losing my life you know but it happens every day so that's the thing you know the spider's web is you know to to how can i even recognize the spider first thing is that you gotta record you gotta first recognize the issues within you. What will cause you to feel like I need a man or a woman in my life to have value? That's the question. You know, I myself, for example, you know, I'm a young dude, you know, I ain't that bad looking, <laughs> you know. But guess what? You know, before I got with my wife, um, it was ten years and I, I was not with not one woman in ten years. And I came from a background, my background was, I had a really bad background. My background was drugs, alcohol, it's two, women, it's three, and sex. Let me put up the, the, the thumb finger because that's, 
that's that's what I was like. Oh yeah, sex, you know, <laughs> you know, because that's that. I mean, that was my main thing in my life, you know, women. But you know, for me, it was a spiritual thing, you know, with God, where where I transitioned over. But but um, it was ten years. I used to be running trains. I used to be doing a lot of crazy stuff in my life. But the thing was, it was ten years when I started seeing myself as valuable, and I didn't want to make. I don't. I didn't want to make the same mistakes I seen people make. You know, I didn't want no baby mama drama. I didn't want all that craziness in my life. So, 10 years, 10 years. And some of you are like, you know, man, you're, you're, you're a dude. You know, how, how you end up doing it? You know, like I say, it was a spiritual thing for me. But really what it was, I, I just begin to see myself as valuable. I begin to see myself that, you know what, before I drop my sperm, my semen, my next son and daughter in a, in, in a hole, I better be sure I'm ready to raise it. And that's the problem with a lot of men out there, you know, which I call, I don't even call them men, I call them boys. Because a real man is somebody who takes care of responsibility. And for, for a lot of brothers out there, they, they, they haven't grown up yet mentally. They haven't grown up yet mentally, but yet you want to call yourself a man, but your actions say that you're still a boy. So that's what it was for me, you know, I got out of the, I got out of the spider's web. You know, I got out of the spider web, spider's web in my, in, my, in my mind, in my emotions, and in my life. So, that you know, that's what I begin to do. So, and that's what you can do. You know, when you begin to see yourself as valuable, in other words, you know, I used to, I, I tell people like this. Uh, uh, imagine, for example, you know, you go to Walmart. You know, they, you, you, you buy that cell phone, you buy that purse, you buy whatever you buy. And... What happens when they when you buy it? They can always put it on the shelf again. But you know, I, I translate that for uh, like uh, people's bodies, for example. You know, there's no other you in this whole world. You know, you go throughout the world, there'll never be another you. For example, there'll never be another me, another Jason. So the thing is, just like there'll never be another another me, something that's very rare. You know, it's it's very valuable. People go pay, people pay a lot of money for it. So if we can, if 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 for example, I mean, um, with, with with the Walmart thing, if you can go into a store and and they could always put that thing back up on the shelf that you buy, but guess what? When you give yourself away, there'll never ever be another you. That shows how valuable you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I begin to learn. So. The thing is, you know, I got out of the spider's web, and that's what you got to begin to do. You got to get out of the spider's web emo e emotionally, get out of the spider's web in your life, and begin to see, really see yourself as valuable, and, um, and, and and make that change, that transition, or whatnot. And you may have to go on a hard journey like I did, you know. it was I went through like what they call a detox, where I began to go through a detox in my mind, where, um, where uh, um, I begin to change the way I think. You know, I begin to um, surround myself with people who are like-minded, you know, and things like that. But, but I got out of that mold, you know, and it, and it ended up benefiting me in the long run. So, so if you like it, you know, share this video. Uh, tell me what you think, and if you yourself, you um, you you want to get out the spider's web. <laughs> All right. So take care. Have a good day.